all our toys are suddenly gone. Our adventure has just begun. To get them back, we travel around in hopes that one day they might be found. Toy Seekers, Episode 1, The Toys Are Gone. The sun was shining brightly on the garden of the Roundy family. The three children, Emma, the oldest one, Otto, the middle one, and Snoozy, the youngest one, were playing with their favorite toys, just like they usually did on nice, sunny Sunday afternoons. Look at me, I'm an astronaut, Emma said. And I'm a rock star, Otto added, spinning his beloved drumstick. And I'm a... Snoozy wanted to say something, but by that time, he had already fallen asleep. The sun was going down when... Kids, it's dinner time! Daddy and I have cooked something nice for you, Mom shouted. We're coming, Mom! Just let me finish this kangaroo jump first, Otto replied instantly. And I'm scoring this goal, Emma added. And uh, I'm... But Snoozy couldn't say anything, as he was still sleeping. Where are you, kids? Mr. Roundy, or as everybody called him, Dad, lurched into the garden clumsily. <laughs> Look, a cute monster, Emma and Otto exclaimed together waking up Snoozy at last. At dinner, everybody feasted on the delicious meal. Mom, Dad, thank you for the lovely dinner. Can I go and watch TV now? Otto asked as nicely as he could. Snoozy and I would like to join him too, Emma snatched at the opportunity. Well, my little roundies, you should pack away your toys first. Please, Mommy, we'll do it tomorrow, okay? Otto tried to soften his mother and her stance on the matter. Children, this must be done, or the toys might be gone. Come on, Daddy. We're so tired, Otto insisted. Okay, fine. Let's get it over with, Emma finally surrendered. So the kids went back to the garden reluctantly, with lids as heavy as lead. I won't do anything at all, that's for sure, Otto said defiantly, and kicked the ball. Hey, I've got an idea. Let's throw everything into the pool, he suggested to his siblings, who didn't say a word at first. But a moment later, they were happily throwing the toys into the pool indeed. After bedtime, the whole Roundy family was fast asleep. But the next day... Wow, I had such a good night's sleep, Emma said cheerfully. Snoozy, Otto, come and let's play... But as she looked out of the window, she saw a huge bubble swallowing up all the toys. Otto and Snoozy took immediate action, but they tried to burst the bubble in vain. Mom, Dad, hurry! Something is stealing our toys! You packed them away, didn't you? Dad asked in surprise, while Otto was losing his desperate fight against the bubble. Well, the thing is that we went out into the garden, but we just, just, just threw them into the pool. Emma admitted the prank. Well, all the toys are gone, Mom stated the sad truth. What will we oh, do? Toys. I think I have a solution. I intended it as a surprise, but now I'm going to reveal it in the garage. Follow me, Dad said mysteriously. 
Can this vehicle operate in water? And on land, too? And can it fly as well? Dad nodded proudly. Yes, indeed. This is the four-wheeled flying boat. My very own invention. Then he quickly asked. Shall we go after that bubble? Yay! <gasps> All aboard. We're taking off. Mom added happily, and the toy seekers started their journey. Be a great kid. Always keep cool. Don't throw your toys into the pool. Pack them away when your mom asks. Behave well and complete your tasks. <laughs>